little bit. There we are. There are quite a number of elephants here. This is wonderful. Beautiful stuff. Now, there's quite an interesting situation here. That chap that you just walked past, I think, unless I'm very much mistaken, is it? It's like a bull. And I think when he, we first saw him, he seemed to be in the process of testing a female. But he doesn't look like he's in must to me. So he's probably just quite young. Oh, there's a bit of a fight going on, David. That's very cool. I think we'll spend as long as we can with these chaps. I think they were at Chitwa Dam. They've now come out onto the clearings. They're going to be eating some grass and leaves and whatever else they feel like. And this is what they will do for most of the night. Except the little ones who, as I was saying to the kids earlier, like to horse around. Can you say an elephant horses around, David? I think you can. Let me just move very slightly forward so that we can see the extent of the herd because there's a very little one with its head <laughs> almost buried in the ground. Can you see it there? I don't want to drive down there towards it because we'll cut half the herd off from the rest of it. So we'll just wait here. That's a very little fellow. Here we are. He was trying to dig himself out a little root, but his trunk doesn't work quite properly yet, so he had to put his mouth right onto the ground. This is wonderful stuff. He didn't really want to eat it either because he's a milk drinker. <laughs> now he, like so many of their ilk, is coming to say hello to us. So wonderful. It's, it's almost impossible when you see things like this to conceive of the fact that for, you know, extended periods, we didn't have elephants at all. They just disappeared. Here he comes, you see, he's coming to, coming to show us how big and strong he is. Now, Aussie mum, as we are, well, I'd say, insulted by this young elephant bull, you say, isn't it so nice to see their skins glossy and healthy? It is nice. I'm, I, I must confess to you that I'm not sure that I've noticed any difference in the shade of their skin. But yes, they look healthy and fat, which I think is fantastic. And there are a whole lot now, well, let's just wait for this guy, but the rest of them are now crossing the road in front of us. Two younger bulls, or older bulls, sorry, are having a bit of a boxing match. And this guy just won't let it go. Now, of course, it's very cute when a little elephant does that. Was Were one of the ones in front of him to do the same thing, it would be quite substantially more terrifying than that was. I'm just trying to see here. Yeah, there are quite a few young bulls here, you know, who are older than I would have expected them to be. You know, those two chaps look to be about 20, and I think that's a bit old for them to be in the herd. Maybe they're just struggling to leave home. Who can blame them? And they've definitely been playing in the mud for quite some time. Probably in Chitwa Dam, and now they're just bored. That was a bit of a spike in the bum there, wasn't it, David? 
Very nasty to spike your friend in the bum. And he's now sort of leaning against a tree, seeking comfort. You coughing there, David? Yes, Are you all right? You don't need to be hospitalized. Thank goodness. Oh, don't push the tree over. That's very nasty of you. And they do that, of course, for the same reason that they fight with each other. They just feel like it. They show that, or they try and show a bit of dominance, just sort of show the tree who's boss. See if he does it again. See if he takes the poor old silver cluster leaf tree with him. This is a big herd of elephants. Now, as we sort of try and understand the extent of it, what's interesting is that the normal sort of size herd in this area is probably about 8 to 15 individuals. I'd say they're probably at about 25 here. But often, herds will join up with each other. And I wonder if these two bulls don't actually belong to different herds. And they've just met up, and that's a greeting there, the trunk inside the mouth there. And there, I mean, there are quite a few all the way down the back of the road, which we won't show you now. You don't have to, well, if you want to, David, you can. Um, and I think they're probably from two different herds. We can't get a tr slightly better view of these guys. Mary, you're wondering about when elephants die, where do they go? Is it as the Lion King suggested, towards an elephant graveyard, a place to die in private? Um, Mary, they don't. They do, well, I mean, they don't go to a graveyard. You didn't actually ask about a graveyard. You asked about where they go or if they go away. They tend to move away from the herds, yes. There's a cow, beautiful cow here. They tend to move away from the herds, Mary, because they can't keep up, A, eh? and B, they want the softer food that is near the rivers. And so they go down towards rivers, and eventually, often, they do die alone. So do they make a conscious choice to go off and die on their own? I think that many of us who've owned pets not elephants, obviously, dogs and cats, have noticed that they do kind of extract when the time comes to pass on. And who's to say that elephants don't do the same thing? The scientist will tell you it's because, well, they need to go down to the water to eat softer food. But I think there could well be an element of them wanting to extract, wanting to die quietly and privately. But very seldom will they die actually in the herd. Alfred, you want to know how strong an elephant's trunk is compared with a human arm? Well, I suppose it depends on the human, really. I mean, about the same strength as my arm. I'm not sure about yours. I'm obviously talking utter nonsense. Um, Alfred, there is not a human arm in the world that would come close to possibly 5% the strength of an elephant's trunk. An elephant's trunk is monumentally powerful. I'm trying to give an, trying to think of an example. Um, they will pull over a tree with that trunk using the same, or oh, how tree, tall, thick would a tree be? Well, look at the tree behind her. Look at the tree behind her here. Now, using their trunks, they would be able to pull over a tree probably just slightly thinner than that. Certainly a big bull elephant would be able to. Uh, you cannot compare the strength of an elephant with a human being. It's just, it's almost incomparable. Because they are so, so very powerful. For their mass, they're probably not. I mean, their power to mass ratio is not fantastic. In the same way that an ant is, for example. An ant will sometimes lift 50 times its body weight. An elephant is unable to do that. But simply in terms of pure brute strength an elephant is far far stronger 
than any human being could ever hope to be. I mean, I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be rushing to try and tangle in an arm wrestle with one of these chaps. <laughs>